As the president of the International Star Class Yacht Racing Association, I can confirm that Mr. Larry, Larry Ripple is a premium member of our class. He is a long-time life member and he is a Star Class officer of the IGC. He founded and is leading the Star Class Legacy Foundation and is the head of the Long Range Planning Committee. Recently, he organized the Junior World Championship of our class. So all in all, Mr. Larry Ripple is doing a tremendous and fantastic work for our class for many, many years, and we all owe him a lot. We are very happy to have Larry and his long time experience as a sailor in the class, a counselor in all kinds of questions, and as a friend. Hi Larry, this is the non-formal part. Both our passion is starboard sailing. Just to make it short, you are a sympathetic, very generous, humorful and cool guy. Great to have you as a friend. I so appreciate my friendship with Larry. You know, it goes way back to when he was a teenager, maybe an early teenager. And uh, I was telling you about how that came about. You know, I needed a crew, but I didn't want to have too good of a crew because if we, you know, we're going to win the, the Blue Star, then that meant that, that, that Jay Winberg would not be able to go to the Worlds that year in Southern California. But we did win the regatta, and so Jay did not go. And every so often I kind of poke him and I say, have you ever forgiven me for beating in that blue star? <laughs> and he laughs and he did, he's doing fine. And that's, that's my relationship with Larry. And then his mom and his dad were very good friends of my folks and me. You know, I remember one day his, his dad called up and said they, they'd like to build a little race tower on top of this dock in Madison or in, on, on Lake Washington in Leshy in, in, on Lake Washington. So to this day, that little tower is still sitting there. So my relationship with Larry and the Star Class goes back way back. I think I, I built my first starboard in 1947, 48 maybe. Anyway, that's about it. Good luck going forward. Thank you, Larry Whipple, for starting the uh, Star Class Legacy Foundation. I think it's a wonderful thing that you did this, and it's going to benefit the class and everybody around it. Uh, once again, thank you. Ding. Good evening. Peter V. here. Hope you're enjoying fair winds at the Vintage Gold Cup. And what a perfect venue to praise and give credit to Larry Whipple for his vision and efforts in creating the Style Legacy Foundation. In his usual low-key yet persistent style, Larry convinced me of the long-term benefits the Legacy Foundation would have on our beloved Starboat and class, mainly in developing a future generation of star sailors who would appreciate the history of the class while driving it forward far into the future witnessed the success of the first Star Youth Worlds as evidence. The whole concept and timing of the foundation is exactly the shot in the arm the class needed. Congrats, Larry, and here's hoping more star sales will join and continue funding the foundation well into the future. Thank you and good night. Hi, Larry. I just wanted to thank you for the idea of having Dad be added to your impressive list of founders of the Star Class Legacy Foundation. He would have been so pleased. Dad was a star sailor, very competitive, who felt that the star boat was an incredible sailing machine, but he was very much committed to the growth of the class. At Lake George, he made sure when he graduated to a newer boat that all of his older boats were purchased by younger sailors and he usually helped them with the purchase. 
he would have been so delighted to sponsor the Under 30 Worlds. Except I think he'd even be happier to be 29 again and win the regatta. Larry, it's a pleasure for me to be here today as your friend and as a Star Class Commodore to honor you for all of the accomplishments that you have done for the Star Class. Your dedication and the establishment of the Star Class Legacy Fund are examples of your total dedication to the young and the not so young Star Sailors. Thank you so much for all of your accomplishments and to help ensure the Star Class going forward in the future. Again, many thanks, best wishes, John Shirella. Hi Larry, it's Foss here. Just want to give you a big thank you for all you've done for the Star Class, uh, especially for the Legacy Foundation. Uh, I can still remember the phone call when you called me about that. You know, I'm sure that everybody that's been in the Star Class remembers way back when. We've known each other forever. I used to crew for you, I think, when sales were still made of cotton, if I remember. And uh, I would occasionally get calls for you for, uh, you know, some sort of investment type of opportunity. Usually it was a diamond mine in Tanzania or a horse ranch in Argentina or something like that. But, uh, you know, when you called about the Legacy Foundation, that made perfect sense. And it was under a couple million dollars that uh, you were looking for. So it was uh, much more of a doable deal. Um, but all kidding aside, uh, Larry, thanks for much uh, for putting that whole thing together. And a huge thank you. I mean, a monster big thank you for the Zag Regatta deal that you, you do every year. That is so special. And uh, it's just a great, great time, and I'm sure glad that that's continuing on solely due to your and Mandy's efforts. So thank her as much as well. Good luck with everything, Larry, and thanks again for everything you've done for this TART class. Hi, I'm Malin Burnham and happy to be part of this little presentation to our good friend Larry <coughs> Whipple. Uh, Larry first contacted me in mid-2016 and uh, he says that uh, he's proposing to uh, start the Star Class Legacy Foundation and he said something like the Star Class is the greatest class on the planet. Well, that's you can't get any any higher than that. So I said, hey Larry, are you feeling okay? And he assured me that he was. So I said, well, count me in. Uh, happy to, to help. And uh, you know, it takes a future thinker to make things happen, but not only that, but to keep things happening. And uh, for the Star Class Legacy Foundation, which Larry has uh, <coughs> conceived and uh, sitting on top of, uh, we need to expand it and we need to all get aboard. So thank you, Larry, for your leadership. What can be said about Larry Whipple? Whip is the definition of class. He dresses well, he looks good, he hangs out with a really, really hot girl. He's a great sailor and I hear about whip all the time. Whenever I get dressed and my clothing is not right or something, Kathleen always says to me, whip wouldn't dress like that. And so I hear about whip all the time. In any case, whip, thank you very much for the job you've done with the foundation and helping our class and being one of the leaders in our class. It's huge. It's going to secure our future, and I'm very appreciative. One more thing about WIP. Recently at the North Americans, I had gotten my jacket for on for the opening ceremonies, and WIP saw me and he says, Augie, you look like you're in the 70s. We need to get you some new clothes. So WIP, you'll be happy to know that I ordered a new blazer and new pants that are all tighter and, and nicer looking, so you'll be happy to see me at the next event.
Hey Whip, thanks for everything you have done and continue to do to make the Stark class great. And Uncle Don, thank you for coming up with the idea of vintage boats for vintage dudes. You did it just in time. Greetings to the Star Sailors family and friends in Gull Lake, John and Don. Uh, sorry to miss the event this year. Um, unfortunately, I had to be at a wedding in Southern California. But uh, anyway, the purpose for this is to uh, give a shout out to one of the legends of our class. Uh, and not a legend uh, by the number of gold stars he's won or the number of Olympic medals, uh, although he has won plenty of major championships in our class. But uh, this is to Larry Whipple. And uh, Larry, uh, thank you for uh, all your contributions over uh, an extended period of time to the star class. Uh, you've been a selfless, uh, very generous uh, donor of uh, both your resources and most importantly your time. Um, the <clears throat> formation and launch of the uh, Legacy Foundation uh, has uh, I think really set uh, the class on uh, a very positive direction uh, and put resources in place that are going to uh, help the class grow uh, and, and thrive and uh, continue to attract uh, some of the young sailors. So um, <clears throat> you've been a great friend uh, personally to me uh, and look forward to, to many more years of that. And uh, you've been a great friend to the class. So uh, hope you uh, have a great week in uh, Gull Lake and uh, you can rest that trophy away from Paul and Danny and the rest of you guys have a great time and hopefully see you in a few months in Miami and, and then Nassau. So uh, signing out from Southern California, talk to you all soon. Bye. Hey everybody, Austin Sperry here from, uh, from New Orleans, hoping to attend the uh, Gold Cup. But uh, minute by minute around here. Uh, I just wanted to say a few things about Barry Whipple um, from a legacy standpoint and from a personal standpoint. He's, he's actually the godfather of my daughter Genevieve. Um, named a tugboat after uh, Uncle Whip, uh, christened that a few months ago. Uh, became a member of the, the Legacy Foundation, mm, I guess about a year ago now. Uh, look, Larry is, is one of the most genuine human beings that, uh, that I've ever met. Uh, enjoy the hell out of sailing with him, hanging with his wife Mandy, the dog star uh, when I go down to Miami. Uh, when he came to me about his idea for the, uh, the Junior World Championships, I thought it was an unbelievable opportunity to showcase what the class is about and uh, what, a, what a, a great stage for these young kids to, to get involved in, in, in what we've all loved for our entire lives. Uh, so, so Whip, here's to you, cheers. Uh, there's very few people in this world that I take a grenade for. You're one of them. Uh, what you've done for the class, for me personally, and for many others. Thank you. Uh, have a great evening. See you guys.